Hello everyone, Plexi Geeks here with another installment of Zombies. Uh, we're looking at Zombie Land 1.4. Uh, we've decided to up the ante this time. We've made it so that the humans can actually fight back against the zombies. Um, all the other improvements from the other previous versions are included here. You can draw buildings to uh, wall the zombies off. What we've added this edition is a weapon catch. <coughs> you can choose the number of weapon catches that appear on the area. We'll do a quick setup here. Uh, the weapon catches appear as a small gun. If a human walks over a patch that's occupied by a weapons catch, they become a Billy Bob agent able to fight back and shoot the zombies. Um, since not everyone is Daryl and sh hits the zombie every time, you can adjust the shot accuracy level from uh, 0 to 100% accuracy. Uh, as usual, you can choose the initial number of humans, initial number of zombies, the speed of both of the agents, and their vision, how far they can see and react to the uh, enemy agents. Um, I've also added some counters, so like with this initial setup, we can see we've got 80 humans, 5 zombies, and then it'll tell you the number of armed humans. Uh, the other feature is when a zombie is shot, he'll leave a corpse, so we'll have corpses littering the simulation field as well. And uh, if the Billy Bob does shoot and the bullet hits a human, the human will also die, so they're not immune to the bullets. So let's do a quick run here, and we'll see how it goes. Now the Billy Bob agents show up as green. And you can see the bullets are small white pellets. And I've got one cluster of zombies left. And that was only with shot accuracy at 50%. Uh, you can make this more, <coughs> more interesting by adding some buildings in here for the different agents to hide in. sack there. Alright, let's increase the number of humans and give the zombies a little bit of advantage. And we'll make the speed and evil playing field as well as vision. And eh, since not everybody is Daryl or even Rick Grimes, let's take the shot accuracy down to say 28% because basically you're shooting as you run for your life. So, let's set this up. Alright, that's a pretty good distribution. Well, eh, all three of the weapons catches are in one building there, so let's try that again. Okay, that's a little bit de better distribution this time. All right, let's see what they do. Okay, we've got a couple of Billy Bobs. All right, it's about 50-50 at this point. Humans still outnumber the zombies. Well, they're even, and the zombies are down to t t 32. Now this may be close to a draw here. Now, now we're down to 13 humans plus. 11 armed humans. And in the end, they do manage to pull it out. 
Um, zombies gave them a good fight that time. This is uh, the last version that I have of this right now. Um, some of the code that was changed to add this, we had to add the additional breeds here for the Billy Bob as well as the gun and the bullet. Um, and then we also had to come up with some additional uh, checks as far as for shooting, firing the gun. We gave an aim check for their accuracy <coughs> to see how accurate they are when they shoot. <coughs> Excuse me. As well as setting up so that if the bullet does hit any one of the other turtle breeds, it does run the kill subroutine and kill them. And the, ener the bullets don't travel forever. Um, once they reach an energy of zero, the bullet basically dies and disappears so that we don't have bullets endlessly flying around in the simulation. Um, if you've liked this uh, simulation, leave a comment, tell me what you'd like to see next, and we'll take it up another notch. Uh, maybe go with a Resident Evil type super zombie that will mutate after consuming so many brains or something like that. So that's all I've got today. Have a great day.